Yeah. Great. So, uh, to everybody, anybody tuning in online, thanks for your patience. We're getting started here. And uh, to everybody that's here, welcome to the second day. Creative Strings Workshop 2013. So, um, this is just kind of a advan uh, an overview uh, of my approach to practicing improvisation for advanced level. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to blur them out at any time. Um, otherwise, I'm going to share a few different ideas. I think since it's early, I'm going to start with um, a uh, sort of a, just an exercise that I do. Um, <clears throat> so this uh, um, exercise, we're going to do it, we'll start it in the major key, but then we'll go into melodic minor. Melodic minor is a really great um, tonality to be familiar with if you want to learn about modern jazz. But let's start with major. So this is a pattern. I um, just want to see if you can get it. So I'm starting on G. I'm playing uh, one, three, five, seven, and then six, five, four, three. So it'll sound like this. Can you try that? Right, and then we go to the A. So it'll sound like this. Um, Try to do that slowly. Two and three and four and. It's going in thirds, 
down would be eight, six, four, two, and then walking up step one, three, four, five, six, seven, five, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, et cetera, et cetera. So I'll play it for you one more time.
bass line just walking over one, three, five, and six. And then if I just play a couple chord, chord tones, the, the third and the seventh, they're going to be my strongest chord tones for the six.
fourths. We'll just play the fourths like that. G melodic minor, fourths ready. And if that's too easy for you. G 
minor there, G melodic minor on the C dominant set. Um, but you also hear G melodic minor over an F sharp dominant seven altered. So if I can set that up. sharp dominant seven resolving to a B minor and the, on the F sharp dominant seven we're going to use G melodic minor because G melodic mar minor is also synonymous with the F sharp altered scale Press the chord. Um, I'm using the third and the seventh. So you can just find that third and seventh, and then on the B minor, I'm just playing the root and the third because at this point it's just a triad. So let's just find your third and the seventh on F sharp. Play those. So if I play the third 
the seventh of F sharp here, then I don't necessarily want to go down to here. Because this, this wouldn't be voice leading. So voice leading is just the idea that each note resolves the closest distance it can. So if I was here, I would go here. If I was here, I would go here. So, um, so now let's see if we can do... Um, Thank you. 
clap dominant chord is sort of like um, the four of the melodic minor scales, so like B, B flat melodic minor scale, and then we resolve to D melodic minor. So I wonder if we could do B flat melodic. Absolutely. Um, 
Cool. So um, going back to this uh, exercise we were doing earlier, are, are there any other questions about melodic minor? Here's the takeaway. Here's the takeaway from, for me about melodic minor is, um, like I said, what really helped me was just to take like one melodic minor scale and just like start shedding it and start hearing it in different ways. And you can hear it over the different chords that it will correspond to. Um, so for example, playing F sharp dominant seven with a big F sharp in the bass and then me playing G melodic minor over top of that and having it resolve to B minor, that really makes you hear that all through the sound. Um, so you could take one key, you know, a day, and just take like 10 minutes, 15 minutes doing exercises. Another way to practice the scale, um, the biggest thing about practicing scales and arpeggios for me, my biggest recommendation is don't play like just from the root. Like play it everywhere that it happens on your instrument. Treat like a scale like, um, like that it's going to happen in 12 permutations all over your instrument. So G just happens to start on G for me, so that's a bad example. Uh, but, um, so let's see what can we do to work on that. We can take, let's take another mode. Let's take uh, B flat melodic minor. And, um,
then as soon as he goes to 2, 5, D, D, D minor 7 to A, uh, G7. Whenever he plays the G7, we play A flat, A flat melodic minor, because that's altered. Then when he plays the C dominant 7, resolving to F, for the C dominant 7, we use C sharp melodic minor. For the F minor, we treat it as a tonic, so we play F melodic minor. When he goes to the A flat dominant 7, which is the flat 6 chord, then that's when we treat it like the 4, so then that's when we go to E flat melodic minor. Um, let's see here. Let's just see. What's the best way to go over that? Well, I'll just take a solo on it. But Chase, why don't you take a solo on it? Oh, shoot. All right. <laughs> All right. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. All Thank you. 
just the third and the seventh on every chord. So C, C uh, minor seven. I'll try to chord, yell out the chords, and you can just just hold down the third and the seventh. Okay. One, two, three, C minor. Oh, sorry. Uh, do you mind giving us a, a bass on this one, Mike? A one, two, three, uh.
everybody to tune in online, i want to thank you for tuning in. make sure to come back tonight, we've got more going on we've got every day this week we have streaming online classes from billy contreras, alex hargraves, jason manning eli bishop and we have victoria yay tonight and anybody that's here, feel free to tweet about it, let people know that we're doing master classes from here at the uh, Google Plus Creative String Players community. And also these resources that I alluded to earlier, um, the Violin Harmony Handbook. This is also a book all about just arpeggios. Um, through that um, Creative Strings Academy, through my online Creative Strings Academy, you can actually download all of these for free with your subscription. So just want to make sure you know that. Uh, otherwise, I have these available. But uh, class at 1045, if anybody is in, uh, so yes, yeah, so tuning out for now to all of you on the Hangout on Air. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you later.